Hey, Mark Harbor from markharbor.com, and in this video, we are gonna talk about three very easy video marketing tweaks that you can make to your videos that will help you get more engagement on them, and most importantly, get more leads. So stick around. All right, well, welcome to this video. And if this is the first time you're here, if you're looking at this on YouTube, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell because I put out videos on a regular basis and I wanna make sure that you get them, all right? So let's dive in. Let's talk about these video marketing tweaks. Now, we all know that video is crucial to marketing online these days. It is absolutely vital that you get yourself out there, that you put yourself out there, get on video, let people see you, let them get to know who you are. Super important these days. And uh, these tweaks will really help you. So let's get into number one. The very first one is to have an engaging intro, a super, super important part of the video. Now, here's the thing. In today's online world, the mobile revolution, the, the scroll the news feed type of mentality, you have about five to eight seconds to grab somebody's attention and let them know what this video is about. Now, here's the thing. What's most important is I know I look at my own habits when I you know go to look at a video or view some type of content. The very first thing I do every time I go to a video is I look right and I see how long is this video. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, I make a split second decision and I say to myself, do I want to invest four minutes of my life into this video? Uh, is this content worth it? And that's why the intro is so important because you've got to tell people exactly what they're going to get in this video. Okay. That they're going to watch from you. So very, very important that in the very first five to eight seconds, you make it very clear what they're going to get and what you're going to teach them because that is what we call the hook. And that's where you can hook people in and they go, okay, I want to know this. Okay. And it's a combination of, you know, really getting to the heart of the issue. What does your prospect want? What do they need? And uh, that's what's most important. So make sure that you've got a very engaging intro that really ropes them in, grabs them, and then allows you to take them through the process of watching that video. So that's number one. All right, so number two uh, is very, very important as well. This is very crucial, and that is creating a high value content, okay? High value content. So if you bring somebody in and you have a really powerful intro that really hooks them, nothing will make your, your prospect or your viewer uh, more, uh, how do you say it, uh, you know, bad feelings about you or whatever it may be, then if you don't provide them a high value experience based upon, uh, based upon the promise that you made in the intro. So if you say, Hey, I'm going to give you this, you're and in this video, we're going to talk about this. Then you want to make sure that's what you give them in the video. Very, very important. So high value, because when people see something, they're going to remember the feeling that you gave them. So if they watch something and they say, wow, this was really good. Good, guess what's going to happen? They may want to subscribe to your channel. They may want to subscribe to your email list. Heck, they might even buy a product. This is very, very important. So the content that you create has to fulfill the promise that was laid out in the intro. So number two, create high value content, answer some questions, give your audience some usable content, and it will go very, very far. All right, so let's get into number three. Number three is crucially important as the other two, so important, and that is your call to action. Very, very important. You've got to have a call to action. Why would you want to bring somebody to something and then not have anywhere to, to send them? You know, yes, we want to draw people in with our, our content. We want to bring people in, share some value with them, but most people, when they watch, you know, whatever your content may be, whatever your video is about, they're going to want more. That's just the nature of it. When you find something that's highly valuable, your, your natural reaction is you want more of it. Okay. That's just the way we all are. You know, if you go to like, uh, I'll use a buffet. Okay. Buffets aren't typically good for you, but let's say you go to a buffet 
and you're like, you know what? The first pass, I'm going to go up. I just want to try a little something, okay? So you go over here and you try a little bit of this, and you're like, oh, man, that was really good. I'm going to get more of that. You see? And it's a silly example, but that's how it works. So with a call to action, that call to action could be very, very simple in the sense of that uh, you could have them email you, click to go to your website, preferably so you can build an email list, Okay, which I've talked about at length in many videos and many blog posts and pieces of content. But you, your call to action is give them something that takes them along the journey. Okay, uh, so they come, they want something, they get it. Now they want to go to the next step. Your call to action, go to my website, click here, get this free PDF, this, this report, whatever it may be. Okay. So your call to action is super critical. The most important aspect of your video really and uh, it makes all the difference. Now, I'll give you a quick story. Many years ago, uh, my buddy Ray Higdon, which you've probably heard of, uh, Ray Higdon, uh, and I recently did an interview with him, which really was a huge hit. But um, several years ago, when Ray was kind of just getting his start online, I, I've known Ray for many years. And uh, one time he, he reached out to me and he said, look, you know, I'm pumping out videos, which he's been doing videos, you know, pretty much every day for the last 10 years. I'm pumping out videos, but I'm not getting like a lot of leads from these videos. Can you take a look and give me an idea? So I went through his video and the video, of course, Ray is just awesome. And the one little tweak I told him, you know, make sure you have a strong call to action. Where are you going to take them after that? Ray started putting uh, call to actions in his videos and he went from about a hundred leads a month to over 800 a month right away as he started doing these videos. So huge, huge importance that it's very, very important that you uh, have a call to action. It can make all the difference in uh, getting leads and getting sales, all right? So now, if you are creating videos and you need help with videos, one of the big things that keeps people from creating videos is they just don't know what to talk about in their videos. So I put together a PDF called the 101 Live Stream Ideas, okay? And these, this is great. Now I call it live stream, but honestly, you can use it for anything for recorded videos, live stream videos that you do on Facebook or YouTube. And uh, this PDF can really, really help you a lot if you're doing videos. So look right below this video, you'll see a button, or if you're on YouTube, look below and you'll see a link and uh, you can click off, go uh, get that, enter your information. You can download that PDF, print it off, keep it on your desk. So when you want to do a video, uh, you're ready to rock. All right. So if you got some value from this video, do me a favor, comment below and let me know. And uh, we got more videos coming all about video marketing. Appreciate you. Have a great day and uh, share this if you got value. Bye-bye.